most of the population on the planet sleeps on their side because that is what mimics actually in the womb when you were being created. And so that's why most people sleep on their side like this. So that's why it's so seductive to get back in that position, but it doesn't have to be that way. I wanna share with you an alternative sleeping position because a lot of you have been commenting saying that it's been difficult for you to stay on your back, to like remain on your back at night. And so I have another video here on YouTube sharing exactly how to position your physical body when you sleep at night with the pillows underneath your legs and then you're sleeping on your back and then there's no pillows under your head. And this is how I've been sleeping for the last several years. And I do a particular sort of hack where I actually put blankets on either sides of me as I'm sleeping and that I've discovered has really prevented me from turning over and then sometimes I'll still turn over but then when I wake up I just rearrange myself and get back to sleep on my back. Now if you're someone who has issues sleeping on your back this video is for you. So I'm gonna share with you exactly how you can sleep I'm gonna take you right up close and personal. Here's what you'll wanna do. You can move your pillows, of course. Okay, let's pretend that all the, all the pillows are down, you're under your covers, and you're ready to go to bed. Now, most of the population on the planet sleeps on their side because that is what mimics actually in the womb when you were being created. And so that's why most people sleep on their side like this. Okay? So that's why it's so seductive to get back in that position. But it doesn't have to be that way. Now, if you're someone who just can't get out of that position and you want to avoid those nasolabial folds, lines, and the creases underneath the eyes that literally crease so intensely when one sleeps on their side and how to do it this is how i do it so this is my hack for you okay get a blanket that feels soft to you i love fleece blankets so this is what i use this is a great i love leopard print and cheetah print and anyway so this is what i use and so when I sleep at night and I'm not using any pillow, here's what I do. I remove all the pillows, you know, I like pull back the sheets. So let's pretend I'm underneath this sheet, okay? I just don't wanna take it down because then I have to like remake my bed and it's just annoying. So let's pretend that the sheet is pulled back and I'm ready to go to bed. So then what I do is I take the blanket and I put it next to my head like this. If I decide, okay, I need to sleep on my side tonight, I put the blanket right up to my ear, but I make sure that nothing here is being touched. So I, so I keep the blanket just touching my ear and my chin area, okay? So this is what you'll wanna do because then this will prevent do you see how it's not creasing as much as it would if someone who sleeps with a pillow, say they're grabbing a pillow. And by the way, this can apply if you're using a silk pillowcase. It, the kind of pillow that one is using is irrelevant in my opinion because it still forms the creases if one has the pressure on the particular part of the face. Okay, so see, the pillow, it's like squishing all along here. If there's touching all along here, that is not optimal. That is not what you want. So this is why I love using a blanket, and especially if it's a fleece soft blanket that feels good to you, then it will help you sleep. So this is my method. This is, this is what I do. 
Do you see how nice this is? See, and look, and there's no creasing. There's no creasing whatsoever. So then I can just go to bed and it's fine, okay? So I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Also comment down below on how you will implement this particular technique into your life. Think to yourself, what blanket will I be using to help me sleep better? And typically, the only reason why I would sleep on my side in that particular position is if I ate too much right before bed because it's really difficult for me to sleep on my back if my stomach is quite full, right? So that's the only time where I actually sleep on my side, but all the other times I sleep on my back and I find that to be the most effective method. So I'll see you guys again really soon. I look forward to continuing creating amazing videos for you, helpful videos for you to help you achieve the results that you really want. So comment below on what other kinds of videos you're interested in seeing and I'll see you again really soon. I feel like our relationship just got a bit closer just now by me sharing this video with you. I don't know. I feel like how one sleeps, it's a very like intimate sort of topic. So I'm so glad to be a little closer with you.